Hello, welcome back to you in new tutorial. So, this is a tutorial series in which I will be solving assignments and the examination question paper of an embedded system. So, the first we will start with the accelerometer. We will first read accelerometer and then we will display it into the text wave. After that, we will move to the graph wave and then we will collect more sensor data such as accelerometer, ambient temperature, gravity, gyroscope, light, linear accelerations, magnetic field, orientations, pressures, proximity, relative humidity, rotation vectors and the temperature. So, so these are the uh, features, these are the sensor features which are available in the android. Uh, it may be possible all the sensors may not be available in your mobile phone. But anyway, we will be writing the code and also we will be testing it in the runtime whether our phone supports this or not. So, there are a sensor framework or you can say the classes are the interfaces which we will be using in this lecture. This sensor framework as a sensor manager and sensor and sensor event and sensor event listener, right. So, the sensor manager it creates an instance of the sensor service and the sensor this can be uh, uh, this is a class and uh, it create an instance of a specific type of sensor such as for accelerometer or for a pressure sensor or for temperatures or the humidity. And the sensor events this provide information about the sensor event suppose that if sensor read the docu uh, read the sensor data or not right so it generates an event on the accuracy of the data and the timestamp of that events and the change of value of that sensor and there is a sensor event listener so if sensor event occurs so it go to the sensor event listener class right so let's uh, start writing the code uh, with the sensor manager so, first of all that uh, we need to uh, define the sensor manager, okay. So, what we can do? We can define here a private and then sensor manager, right. So, the sensor manager is let us say write the sensor manager. So, here is the sensor manager and uh, now we need to define a sensor, right. So, the sensor, let us define a sensor and uh, let us define sensor and here it is asking about to import a sensor library. So, you can press alt and enter or in the Mac you can press option and the enter right. So, here take a accelerometer right accelerometer perfect ok. So, this is here we have defined a, a sensor manager and the sensor. And also we want to log our activity. So, we need to define the log tag. So, you need to write here L O G T log T ok. So, it will automatically take private static final string tag into the main activity right. And now, let us get the system services right. So, this system services we can get into the on create method. It is very simple we need to just write here into the on create after set content weave we need to get the sensor manager services right. So, what we can write here we need to write here the sensor manager is equal to a sensor uh, sensor manager and uh, then get system services right and in the get uh, system services we need to give the context right. So, here we need to give the context dot sensor services right this one perfect. Now, it has got the permission to use the sensor. So, it, in fact, we have uh, here uh, created a uh, get a, got a system service into a system manager. After that now, we need to get a sensor right. So, let us get a sensor accelerometer ok. So, into the accelerometer equal to 
sensor manager dot accelerometer sensor manager dot get default sensor and into type. So the type of that sensors we are gonna take if you write here dot typ underscore accelerometer heart rate light etc. So we are gonna get here accelerometer type of the accelerometer perfect. Now what we need now we need to register a listener right so with this sensor manager so sensor manager dot register listener and for the register listeners we need to uh, pass few parameters such as a context or this activity and then accelerometer means for which we want to monitor the sensor and then we want a sensor manager delay right so sensor manager sensor manager uh, sorry sensor manager dot sensor delay normal ok so it would be reading the sensor without any delay ok perfect so we have got this uh, we have to need, need to write here uh, main activity dot this right uh, somehow something is uh, wrong here register listener is not able to identify something let me see what is wrong here what is wrong here a sensor manager dot register listener oh yes so so we need to also uh, extend our you know the services so for that uh, we need to you know main activity extends app compact activity and then we need to here implements sensor event listener right so here we need to implement the sensor event listener so here it is uh, getting error uh, it is telling that the must it must be either abstract or uh, it must either be declared abstract or implement abstract method so for that we need to do a few more things also we need to create a um, few more methods and uh, those methods are on accuracy changed and on sensor change so what you can do you can press ctrl and o okay or alt and insert uh, in mac in windows but in mac you can press uh, ctrl and the o then you should ask override method so in the override method uh, we need on accuracy change so you can just uh, start typing here and you write here on accuracy changed right so we have got the on accuracy change and then again control and the o now we need on sensor changed right however we may not need on accuracy change but we need on sensor change changed and if you go here you can see the error has been gone right so we have registered our listener and now let's give some talk uh, give some tag here okay so you can type here log d okay so the on create okay you can type here initializing sensor services sorry sensor services and uh, then here you can type log d and then you can see here registered accelerometer listener right perfect now we need to get our sensor event right so for that we uh, do not need to do much so only we need to display here so we can do the log d on sensor change okay let us give the x value here okay so the x value is a sensor event dot values at zeroth that is the x value okay and then let us plus now we want y value okay a plus and then again a sensor event dot values a first location that is y axis okay and now we want z 
perfect and let's plus it and then a sensor event dot value and then second value that is z value perfect now i think everything is fine here no need to do anything else and let's check it so we need to run it so if you if i run it so connected device is my redmi note 4 is connected and uh, now let's run it so the gradle is building here and we can monitor our device into the android monitor it is print, it is printing a lot of verbose okay verbose so let's wait to complete this gradle build okay great now it is going to install apk perfect now let me see in my mobile okay great now if you see it here the on sensor change accuracy it is printing x value and then y value and then z value so the z is coming 9 point something and uh, now let me uh, let me change uh, the, the direction of my mobile so i'm gonna you know the flip it so now you can see here the z axis is going to be negative here right so here again I am going to flip it, I am going to uh, turn it. So if I turn it you can see it is changing the value right. So the x is now minus 3, minus 4 and uh, see how it is changing, perfect, great. Again I am changing, see somehow everything is changing here. So successfully we have tested our accelerometer x, y and the z. So for this you do not need to text we were the buttons to display this. So it was a very simple to just log our uh, accelerometer onto a android monitor. So thanks for watching this tutorial and in the next tutorial I will be adding more text we and the buttons so that uh, we can see this uh, sensor value into user interface. Uh, I mean into your mobile screen. So you can subscribe this channel so that you can also get updates of the all latest uh, my video tutorial.